Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Moscow. Now today I'm going to take you for a walk around of a sports store. Now this is kind of like a department store style sports store and it's right behind me it's called Sportmeister and I thought uh, you might find it interesting to see what kind of brands are in there what kind of things they're selling right now especially during all these sanction times so let's head on in and check it out now this is the store right here we're a little bit closer now and I uh, thought I'd just sort of show that main sign above the uh, shop and we'll walk on in and check it out because I think it's pretty interesting Now the store itself is split up into kind of like men's and ladies uh, stuff and it's also kind of by brands as well so even by uh, kind of departments almost but during these uh, sanctioned times you can see the shop is full there's everything here there's nothing out of stock hello <laughs> but the shop has got all the clothing everything you possibly need now I didn't want to walk in here and uh, kind of show you an empty shop. If it was empty, it was empty, right? But this is actually all the kind of uh, outerwear. I guess they're calling it travel and hiking kind of stuff. It's a little bit warm for sweaters and hoodies and fleeces right now, but they've got plenty of uh, stuff. Northland, I guess this is one of their uh, brands. And we know North Face very well. Plenty of North Face uh, stuff over here. And then Columbia. If you've been to uh, pretty much any major uh, sports store anywhere in the world, Columbia is a big part of it. But they've got the full selection here. Actually, my winter jacket is a Columbia winter jacket, so it's very cool. There's a camping section. And here's some of the bikes. We'll come around and see the bikes in a little bit. But there's a camping area here with all of the uh, stuff if you want the chairs, the big backpacks, tents. Well, there's even tents right there. All of the uh, stuff for your backpack camping. Backpacks. Actually, I was having a look at this one for myself, this uh, Adventure, I guess it's called. I think this is their in-store brand here. But all the brands are here, Fila, Nike, Adidas, so it's very well stocked. Here's a surf brand called Protest, which I've not heard of before. There's a few things on special as well. Actually, I have shopped at uh, this shop myself. I've actually got new uh, sketches on. It's a bit hard to see, <laughs> but actually I bought them at my local Sportmeister and they actually uh, delivered them to my house because they didn't have the size at the time. There's a little football section right here. Basketballs. Yeah, they've got everything. Football shoes. You can see all the stock they've got. It's full. Everything stocked. A kappa. A termit is a... Uh, I don't know what they best call this. It's kind of a skiing kind of brand name. And then Speedo, Kappa. Yeah, it's very, very nice sports store. So if you're ever in Russia, everything is in stock here. There's the uh, fitness and workout kind of stuff. Things for boxing. I don't think I'll be buying any boxing gear, but flip flops, this is kind of swimwear. And there's a Kappa, Fila. I feel like I'm just naming all the brands here, but you're gonna get that as I'm walking around here. Here's the Adidas corner of the store. So, very nice. Oh, and check out all of the uh, goggles here. If you're planning to go swimming at the uh, swimming centers, plenty of goggles, but the shop is full. There's even snorkels. I don't know if you're gonna snorkel in any rivers in Moscow, but if you ever plan to go snorkeling, they sell snorkels. The Rasputi. And have a look at the shoe section. This is completely full. So, where you might uh, come to the uh, realize that the Nike store is closed, 
they have Nike shoes here, not a problem. Adidas, they've got every brand you possibly need here. Puma, Fila. So yeah, you can avoid all of the uh, sanctioned stores and come right here to Sportmeister and find everything you need. This guy's trying on some Pumas, nice. Yeah, actually when I came to buy my shoes at the Sportmeister where I live, they didn't have the size. This is now the ladies area here. So this is all the Nike clothes. So I'm being told I've got to say Nike, not Nike. So it's pronounced Nike. So you're going to have to prove me wrong in the comments if you want to. But all the ladies uh, added us here. So again, uh, Dmix is their actual in-house brand as well. It's kind of interesting. Uh, Walking around, it's like everyone's walking behind me, so they're not in the shot. Kappa, but have a look at all the stock. Puma. So again, with this being a multi-brand store, all of the brands that have basically left Russia are for sale in these multi-brand shops. Here's all the uh, ladies' swimsuits. They don't tend to have any kind of, well, not very much bikini-style stuff here. It's mostly swimming for swimming center kind of clothing. Some more, uh, you know, uh, normal looking uh, speedo style swimsuits. Here's the ladies kind of outerwear. Northland again, Columbia. So yeah, it's really separated men's and ladies. So yeah, I really wanted to show this to prove that there isn't empty shops, there isn't empty stores, there isn't nowhere to go and buy anything because everything is here, even this new era Stand back here with the uh, the uh, baseball teams, the Yankees hats back there. Yeah, everything possibly that you need. Here's the checkout. There's even a line of people waiting to pay, which is very normal in Sportmeister. Anytime you come to a Sportmeister, you're lining up to pay. They've got the nice uh, customer service section over there. And then you can kind of add yourself to their uh, mailing list. Need a scooter. Plenty of scooters, there's even a couple of electric ones. These are all the uh, young kids ones here as well. Yeah, check these out at the back here, the ones with the built-in batteries. So yeah, very nice store. Is it even a table tennis section? Look, how many shops have got ping pong sections in, the, uh, in their local sports store? I think it's very few and far between. Summertime you can get uh, the rollerblades, skateboards, I think they call these penny, are they called penny boards or these uh, sort of uh, old retro style skateboards, they're still a big thing in Russia, people like to ride them. And then check out all the bikes here, kids bikes, well, there's a good selection, we're kind of just doing one full lap around so we can sort of see everything, but no shortage of stock. Yeah, look at all these, the uh, kind of uh, mountain bikes, plenty and plenty of choices. There's bike accessories back there, folding bikes, if you need a folding bike. Yeah, good assortment of stuff. Here's uh, Dmix, this is their in-house brand again, so you can basically get their in-house brand or you can come and shop for any other brand you need. Columbia, Merrill, Cat. We had all these in Australia before I left. I was looking at buying some kind of more of a hiking kind of shoe for winter here. So yeah, that's all of the brands. Travel, hiking, sports. Here's all the Nike and Puma. But have a look everybody. This is full there's not a single space and anything out of stock. Geox as well. Somebody asked me about Geox in Russia and that's definitely available. I think I'm pronouncing it wrong, but yeah, full lap around the shop. Sketches. Yeah, this is uh, not the store that I bought mine in, but I bought mine at the Solaris Sportmeister and they were super nice. They uh, had a guy deliver the sizes to my house, charged me for what I needed. Sketches galore here. All the Reebok, Fila, Kappa. Yeah, there's no shortage of stock.
So as I walk on outside, I thought this was going to be a nice short and sweet video and it kind of is. Uh, I just thought I'd show you guys kind of a bit of a polar opposite to a lot of things that you're seeing in Moscow, what you're seeing on television and that there's empty shops, empty shopping malls and this sports store was absolutely full to the door. There was nothing out of stock, there wasn't empty shelves anywhere so I just thought I'd really kind of prove that here in Moscow, even during sanctions, you can go shopping, you can buy what you need, you can find the brands that you want, and it's all available. So yeah, thanks for watching Traveling with Russell. Thanks for watching this uh, typical Russian sports store <laughs> tour, I guess we'll call it. I'm not sure yet of the title. Uh, yeah, okay, leave a comment for me, guys. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up if you liked it. I'm sure a lot of thumbs down, as usual. I can't avoid it. I'm sorry. So yeah, I'll see you in another video. Bye, everybody.